Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys uh, the baseband updater for um, your second in it ROMs or your Froyo ROMs. Um, you guys have probably heard by now that Team Black Hat has released the 4.5.602 uh, leaked update for the Gingerbread on the Droid X. Um, so along with that, there is a dot .zip baseband only updater. So if you're on a second edit ROM and you would like the benefits of updating your baseband, you're going to get better call quality, uh, better reception on data, calls, and texting. Uh, it's good to have the updated baseband. Um, there's a very easy way to install it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But before you install it, I want you to know that if you update your baseband to 0.13p, you're going to have to revert back to the old baseband if you want to flash MIUI or uh, any of those CM7 ROMs over the top of what you have now. Uh, so just keep that in mind before you install it. Um, so we'll go ahead and jump into this. To install this baseband updater, uh, you need to be on a Froyo ROM, such as any of the second init ROMs or any Froyo ROM. You can even be on stock Froyo. Uh, download the updater baseband zip from the link in the description once you have it downloaded uh, go to let's see if you're on a stock Froyo ROM you would obviously go into Droid2 Bootstrapper if you're on a second edit ROM such as CM7, MIUI, SSX or Liquid you'll hold down the power button go to reboot and reboot recovery select OK from MIUI ROM, uh, you don't have that option. You will have to go into ROM Manager and boot into recovery from there. So like I said, this is very simple and easy to do. Okay, so to do the baseband update only, you will not need to wipe data cache or Dalvik. Instead you can just go straight to install zip from SD card. Select that. Uh, then go to choose zip from SD card. If you've downloaded that file from the link in the description directly to your SD card, I mean directly to your phone, it should be an SD card download. So find that folder, click OK, and you're looking for uh, one 0.09.13p baseband updater rm edit.zip. You will choose that file, go to install uh, that zip, collect, I mean select yes, and install it. It shouldn't take but a couple of minutes, and then you can go back to reboot system now and select that, and you will now be on the 0.13 baseband. And just keep in mind that if you want to go back to any of the CM7 style ROMs, you will need to SBF uh, back to .340. I'm not sure. I can't remember if that works on stock ROMs. I mean stock gingerbread ROMs or not, such as like the .596, uh, Apex 2.0, uh, Liberty. I think that it does. Um, so if you want to try that out on Apex or Liberty, uh, Liberty version .9 or Apex 2.0, and report, report back here in the comments. I would appreciate it. I have not tested that yet. Um, if you like what you see here on the channel, subscribe. And you can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Head on over to the website DroidModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for the Droid X. And remember that we are expanding. Uh, we're looking to purchase a Droid Bionic and also a Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, and any of these phones as they come out we're going to try to support them with tutorials and how-to videos as well as ROM reviews. Uh, guys, thanks for watching.